Chistes. Peacefully when the vintage vault is unlocked. They will come back to kill me. Get away! It's not just your life you're risking, it's your very soul. Join us if you dare, and behold the timeless horrors lurking inside the vintage vault every Sunday on Legend. <laughs> Danny was living a double life, and in 1994, that double life caught up with him. He started mixing with very dangerous uh, players who were importing drugs. And he also boasted about having these big gambling contacts in London. Wellesby, who was a genuine villain and hard man, saw through that. What did that mean? It meant to John Wellesby that Dyke was ripe to be ripped off, and that's exactly what he did. When Danny did not well in school, he got a beating. He grew up just being abused. You wonder what it can do to somebody's psyche. He compared it to feeling like a volcano could erupt at any time with his father because of his father's mood swings. Bolling's experiences throughout life have made him rage against the world. What is he doing? He's pointing a gun at authority. That's what he's doing, and he's saying, who's in control now, Dad? In July 2016, Leroy Campbell is released on parole license and placed in a probation hostel in Bilston, Wolverhampton. He visited Bilston several times with the intent of looking for a victim, and um, he found one. That process leading up to the offence can be seen as akin to foreplay, so that's the exciting preparation that he requires to gain the maximum satisfaction from the offence itself. I'm Donald McIntyre, and I'm examining how such tragedies happen. I'm driving my van in the middle of Derby. I'm thinking about going in for lunch. The radio goes, and I'm being asked to go to a body. Police officers had attended Waterford Drive, and they'd found the body of uh, Paul Hancock in the bath. The fact that he cleaned the first scene really well, and then wrote a confession letter. And it read, if you don't find him in a week, I will give you his address, yours, the Angel of Mercy with the scientific support team, going to work out what the best strategy is to search the house uh, to, to make sure that we gather all the best evidence. We've got cameras, fingerprint kits, lots of packaging materials, because we're anticipating quite a bit of uh, evidence to be recovered. Health officials in Tennessee determined the likely source of the meningitis outbreak was a steroid medication. We're with CNN. We were trying to get a hold of somebody to talk to. Unfortunately, I had to ask you guys to leave the job right here. We stayed in the room with him all night, holding his little hand. We still don't know what's going on. It looks like a garbage dump, but again, this, this backs up right to the this compounding center, a place where they, they process medications for human use. They were doing it out of pure profit motives. They were taking enormous risks. They cut every corner they could. 911. And after the two gunshots, you no longer heard the cries from Landy Martinez. 
it's a constant process of trying to think ahead and where the case may take us. I've done a lot of cases. I don't think I've ever seen one that we could actually see, uh, one we could hear. Step forward. You believe in fairy tales if you believe that story. He's not a liar, is he? In exchange for that being nice, now you're suing her. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You're already annoying me. Sorry. Stop talking. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Not only was she the driver, she was the rat. Completely not true. You're a liar. The following is a paid presentation for the Yona Instant Bed, brought to you by High Street TV. Unexpected guests.